I mean, Indiana was terrific. Um, they were terrific all night from the start till the end. Made some incredible shots. Yogi uh, Farrell made a lot of tough shots. Um, shot clock going down, just made a lot of tough shots. James Blackman was great. Their whole team was great. They were hard to guard. Uh, we felt like I felt like we were a step behind them all night defensively. And um, what amazed me is it was a nine point game with like 10 to go. I, it was amazing it was that close, um, the way they were playing. So they kept it going and kept making shots uh, throughout the game. And, uh, they're good, they, they have a really nice team. Have you ever had seen a team shoot 15 for 22? Uh, something I don't like know. that. I don't know. Someone made a bunch of guesses last year at Florida State. I think they made 15, but I'm not sure how many they shot. Might have been 15 for 24. Um, but it felt like a lot more. It felt like they made about 25 of them, to be honest with you. Were they doing anything on offense that was throwing you guys off? On the, like, were they doing anything offensively that was throwing you guys off? No, nah, they just made shots. I mean, um, the Hartman, is it Hartman? I can't, I can't see. Number 30? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he hits three in the first half. I think he was four for four at one point, I think he was. And, um, you know, that kind of got him going. Um, and, um, and I know he's a good shooter, but he hasn't been that aggressive uh, at times. So, I, you know, I watched the game in Illinois, and I was like, okay, this is a different team. And uh, I knew what we were getting into, but I thought we'd guard him a little bit better than we did. But give them credit. Roman, you got a question? The way they, I mean, I know you expressed this yesterday, but the way they did spread it, um, and they were able to drive. And just, did you guys feel like you got worn down, especially that last 10 no, I, just, I don't know if we got worn down. I just don't think we kept competing. And um, when you're making that many shots, it's hard not to stay close to shooters. Um, but our closeouts were bad, and our just toughness trying to guard the ball. Um, wasn't there um, when it needed to be during that stretch. I, I hated the layups. I, jump shots overhand, I don't mind. You know, I really don't. I hated the layups. Um, but I know they had a three or four or five uncontested threes too uh, that they made. But you know, for the most part, I thought we were shaking hands. But the film may say different. But give them credit. They 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 played a very smart game tonight. And um, you know. Just didn't kind of go our way to start the second half. I thought down three with the ball, we got a mellow layup, and uh, we missed another layup. And we missed a wide open shot, and they made three layups in a row. All of a sudden, it's nine and a three, and so it, it changed pretty quickly there. Where if we could have started the half better, maybe it'd been a different game. Don, uh, Mark, it looked like Yogi wanted to sort of prove a point against Mello, not only offensively but defensively. So he and they did a pretty good job of continuing. Yeah, I mean, you got to ask Yogi that. I mean, it's not me to answer, but uh, I love my guys. I love my team. Just give Indiana all the credit. Is, is this a good, I mean, you, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose this way. But in a season like this, the way things are going, you, does a team need sort of to, to get wake up calls occasionally to to see where they are and what they have, still have to do? Because this is still pretty. this is still a pretty young team. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if this is a wake-up call. I, Indiana was terrific. I mean, they were just, they were they were great. So um, I thought we were playing pretty well to be down nine with like, I don't know, 11-minute timeout or something like that. I thought, wow, we're, we're, we're doing some nice things just to be down nine. I said, come on, guys, let's keep playing. And then all of a sudden it was 15 like that. So um, is it a wake-up call? Yeah, we got to we got to play better defensively. Um, play a little bit more poise offensively, but, um, you know, uh, good thing is we turn around and play Sunday, so got to get home, get some rest, get ready. Okay, a couple more questions, Roman and then Aaron. Mark, what did you say to your team? I know he's kind of... I said so Indiana was terrific. We got to play better. I love you guys. love this team. We got to move on. And Evan's thumb, is, I saw he had a rattle. Yeah, he's, he heard it in the, uh, he heard it a couple of games ago. Maybe the Rutgers game. I think he heard it then. Last question. I'm sorry if you addressed this, but can you compare Indiana's atmosphere to some of the other games uh, this year and your team's response? Um, I thought the atmosphere was the best we played in all year. Um, I mean, they were fired up to have the number eight team in the country in here, and, and uh, they were terrific. Fans were great. At times, I didn't think we were very, I thought we were pretty good. 38-35 at half is somewhat of a miracle. We were two for six at the foul line, something that we do well. We missed the front end of a one and one. So um, 
I thought we did a lot, a lot of things well. They just kept making shots. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.